about 400 kilometres from Adelaide, heading straight into the heart of the magnificent Flinders Ranges. Hey, look at those mountains out there, Charlie. They're beautiful. Can you see the Flinders Ranges? They're big, aren't they? Great day for a drive to Hawker. Here in Outback South Australia. We're in the middle of sheep country, but these days the Flinders Ranges draws tourists from all over the world, and some of the old sheep stations have turned their hand to tourism, including Warnsley Park Station. From camping to cabins and even eco-friendly villas, the station spans across 500 acres and we found the perfect camping spot. With the backdrop of the famous Wilpena Pound that's known as the heart of the Flinders Ranges, it's an amphitheatre of mountains and Rawnsley Park Station backs right onto the southern part. Here we can see Rawnsley's Bluff. Isn't this beautiful? Woo! Check that view out. The Pound. Joining us for breakfast is fourth generation sheep farmer and owner of Rawnsley Park Station, Tony. Yeah, my... Um great-grandparents had a little farm near Hawker and uh, my mum and dad came to this property in 1953. So, so I grew up here and now uh, I've been back here for oh, 20 odd years. And, um, but now it's the, the tourism's you know, the, the big thing and, yeah. the, and the farming's just the, the sideline really. But um, It'll be one of the all-time magnificent locations to come camping. Yeah, I, th I think the Flinders Ranges are, um, are good Sort of camping, walking destination. You know, you can really, um, you can you can see the the you know, it's not not so much vegetation that you you can't see out, and um, so you've got this fantastic view, um, and it's um, you know, it's a pretty nice environment. So, yeah. Exploring the station everywhere we drive, another view of the red rocky escarpments, and always a reminder of the history of this farm that still runs 3,000 head of sheep today. How's this for a backdrop, Tony? <laughs> Will peanut pound, you got your sheep. Yes, it's a, it's a lovely spring day, isn't it? Oh. Warm sun and cool breeze. And Mommy, they're not coming. The sheep look happy. They do, <laughs> they're coming, Charlie, yeah. look. Yeah. They look really healthy, they look, they look fairly woolly. They've only got um, seven months wool on them, but they look like they're nearly ready for shearing now. We head inside to Tony's shearing shed. Look! Charlie! Lots of sheep. These are merinos, so they're mainly for the wool. Oh, um, I like that. <laughs> I feel better now. Feel happier about that? I do, actually. Yeah. Tony leads the way, showing he's an old hand with the shears. And how many would you do a day? Oh, uh, me? <laughs> Not many, but um, a professional shearer, about 150. Wow. So about one every three minutes. Sheep shearing is a lot easier okay. said than Turn done. Me off. <laughs> Spending an afternoon with Tony, it's easy to see while he's turned his hand to tourism. He loves getting his hands dirty in the shearing shed. Sit them down, sit them down, hold them down. With Rawnsley Bluff as our backdrop, Charlie laps up life on the land. And big chickens. <laughs> <laughs> As the evening sun hits the bluff, we nestle in back at camp for the night. Tony's wife, Julie, joins our party. You can just see the last bit of the light of the day hitting the rock. Oh, hitting the pound, Tony. Mm, yeah, well, I said this would be the best part of the day. Yeah. Beer in hand and um, watching the sun set on Rawnsley Bluff. Fire crackling. Fire crackling. Not a care in the world. <laughs> 